Hello, my name is Mike Murphy. I'm going to show you what you need to do to start a microworm colony. This is the process that I follow. There are several processes out there, and this is just what I've found that works. Enjoy. These are all the things that you really need. You need a nice Tupperware container. I've got this one that has a little bit of damage to it, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. You need some active yeast, which you can get at any grocery store, as well as just some plain mashed potatoes unflavored, just straight up mashed potato flakes. Step one, I'm just going to take a 1 16th inch drill bit. I'm going to drill a handful of holes right in the top. Need a little bit of air in there. Just going to wipe off the extra little pieces of plastic that came off. There you can see how I drilled those. Step number two is to go ahead and make a single serving of mashed potatoes. Now we're going to make this just with water. We're not going to use milk. We're going to use the same amount of water that it shows plus the amount that it shows for milk. Now since this is a very small container, as you can see here next to the, next to the box, I'm just gonna make a half serving since this is gonna be a small batch. In goes my potato flakes, water, I'm gonna stir it up. All right, so I made my mashed potatoes, just made them in the microwave. I put in a little bit extra flakes because you don't want it very soggy, you want it kind of firm. So I got this nice and smoothed out, nice and flat. Now I need to set it on a cooling rack and let it cool off. All right, the mashed potatoes are now roughly room temperature. You can put it in the freezer for a little bit if you want. The next step is to take some of your active yeast. Just gonna get a big pinch of it. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top. This is what the worms actually eat, so if you ever notice that your colony is starting to slow down, they climb up the sides. If you notice them starting to slow down, you can put a little bit more in there. There we go, that's quite a bit. There's an aerial shot so you can see roughly how much yeast is in there with this spread. All right, the next step is to sprinkle a little bit of water right on the top just like that, and to stir it in. So I'm just gonna kinda rub it around a little bit, spread out that yeast some. Try to make it a little bit nice and even there. Once again, another aerial shot so you can see the spread. The next step is to take whatever you're using for your culture, whether it comes in a small bag or its own container, you're just going to put it right on top. It doesn't hurt to touch these guys. I'm going to put it right in top, and then you're going to spread that out. Just kind of spread it around, smooth it out right on top. If possible, you want to get a pretty even spread across the whole top of your mashed potato, yeast, and water mixture. And 
And there's another aerial shot so you can see the spread of the micro worms right on top. Okay, next step, I'm just gonna put the lid on. Right, like that. And the final step is just to put this somewhere in a cool, dark place, undisturbed. For about a week or so, you'll start being able to see the worms crawling up the sides, making funky little crosshatch patterns. When you see that, you can just reach in Q-tip, scrape some off, dip it down in your tank, or use your finger, scrape some off, and dip it right down in, and that's it. Happy worm growing. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments if you have feedback, suggestions, or if you're having a hard time or anything like that. The great thing, I feed all three of my tanks every single day these once a day. Even the adults eat them. It does great things for their color.